and a happy late Christmas to everybody. Or unless you're somewhere in the world where it's Christmas right now, you know, happy Christmas or happy holidays or whatever you celebrate. Um, I'm going to film my December book haul and today is December 27th and I'm filming this now hoping that it will convince me not to buy any more books in the month of December because, you know, I got my birthday gift cards and some Christmas money so of course I've been buying books. I think in the past two days I've bought like five different books and I need to stop. Real quick I thought I would show you a few things. This is my favorite Christmas present and if you follow me on either one of my Instagram pages, my personal, Margo and the Argo, or you know, Johnny Depp love. <laughs> I posted a picture, but if you don't, a Johnny Depp bracelet, everybody. Literally, my parents are my favorite humans in the whole world. Mm, they're pretty good peoples. And then, like, luck is my favorite. Where is it? Where is it? I'm stalling, wasting time. Okay, Mad Hatter. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm done. It was one of the This is probably gonna make a lot of noise. I don't really care. So the first thing I got, technically, actually, it is a book, but it's not a book. Oh, okay. I got this thing! It's Jane Eyre folded in the shape of Reed, which I think is super neat, and I asked my parents for this and they got it for me. Because my parents are good, like I said. Look at it, look at it. It's so very beautiful. Okay, so I have 12 books to show you guys, and three or four were Christmas gifts, so I don't feel that... Okay, you know what? It's gonna have to come off. Three or four was Christmas were Christmas gifts, so it's not that bad. But the first thing I bought this month my own money was Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rhodes and you know this is the third book in the Fallen Kingdom series. Loved it. Have a review up. Highly recommend the series. Can't give you a synopsis because it's the third book but I have a review up for the first one and the third one. I don't really know why I don't have one for the second but I do highly recommend these and yeah I cannot believe I have to wait till next year for the next one. I might pass out. I'm just gonna be dropping them on the ground. Don't worry it's soft. The next thing I bought was James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl because I love Roald Dahl a lot because he, oh I just realized a lot of my book tubathon reads are going to be in here. Now I'm all depressed. Oh wait, no they're not. I completely lied. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Roald Dahl, the, I forgot this isn't my wrap up. This is my book haul. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so confused. Okay, but Roald Dahl, um, I love him so much because he wrote Toll in the Taco Factory, which is one of my favorite film adaptations, the newer one. And I just thought I should read more by him, and this was really cute, and I read it in like an hour because it's like tiny. It was really cute. I liked it. If you're a fan of Roald Dahl, I recommend that. The next thing I bought was Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover, and guys, if you've seen my review, you know. Ranting and ranting and ranting like crazy about how much I loved this book. Guys, you don't understand my love for this book. Actually, you probably do because everybody worships Colleen Hoover. Yeah, well, now I do. Just do it. This is my first Colleen Hoover book. Not disappointed. Gonna read more. So not disappointed, in fact, that the couple of days afterwards, I went and bought slammed also by Colleen Hoover. This was the last book I bought for Christmas because I'm like, okay, Margaret, stop. Stop buying books. You're gonna get books for Christmas and you're gonna get money for books. Just stop it, Margaret. So yeah, I bought this and this was the last one that I bought. And I'm so excited for this one. Whenever I went to go get Maybe Someday, this is the one I originally was going for, but of course they didn't have it because I needed it. But I got it and I'm gonna read it in January and I cannot wait. I'm so pumped about that. It's gonna be a fantastic book and I can already tell. The next book I bought the lovely Megan gave me, and that is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I finally get it on this thing, guys. If you would please tell me in the comments, if this is scary, tell me. And I don't mean like, oh, it's a little bit creepy. If this is like, won't let me sleep again, tell me, because I can't read it. I don't like scary things, and I can tell this is probably going to be kind of creepy. But if this is like horrible, I don't, I can't, I can't read it if it's like really bad, but... You know, she gave me that awesome necklace, but also she put in this bag. I told her, I was like, hey, Megan, when I see you at church tomorrow, will you bring me Miss Peregrine's? I want to borrow it. She's like, yeah, sure. Then she brings it, and it's in my gift bag. She's like, I want you to have it. I was like, thanks. So tell me down below if this is scary or not, because I don't want to be terrified. <laughs> the next thing, oh, I'm so excited. I put out a plea on YouTube, which I only got one answer for. Thank you, person. I kind of forgot who you were. Leap. Is that what it, yeah, that's what it was. Asking for recommendations on Alice in Wonderland retelling because I'm obsessed with Alice in Wonderland. I love it more than anything in the entire world. 
entire world. And I'm literally not kidding. And so after I got done and I realized I was only going to get that one comment, I kind of went Goodreads surfing because I, and I found a few things, but mainly I found Splintered by A.G. Howard and Unhinged by A.G. Howard. And these are the things that I bought yesterday with my gift cards. I wanted to go on Christmas day, but you know, they were closed, but Oh my gosh, I'm reading this one right now whenever I, I mean, I'm, I wanted to finish it last night, literally. I was going to stay up all night and finish it because it's so good and I could almost not put it down. Literally, I almost couldn't put it down. But finally, I'm like, you know, I'm going to be dead tomorrow and I want to be able to get good sleep. So I went and got it. First of all, cover lust. Can we just, especially this one because purple is my favorite color. And then the Mad Hatter is my favorite character in anything. Literally the Mad Hatter from the Tim Burton version. Not just because he's Johnny Depp, but just because he's awesome. Mad Hatter is my favorite character in anything ever. I love him. And guys, they're so good. These are like, well, I, I obviously haven't read this one, but I'm not even done with this one. But... I can, I can, I can feel this is going to be, and I'm so depressed that I put up my favorite books of 2014 because something tells me that this is going to be one of them just because, oh my gosh. And this is a debut author, A.G. Howard. Good job. I can already tell you are on your way, sister. Then also, if you follow my personal Goodreads account, which you totally should because I think I'm pretty awesome. You know that? Okay. Uh, Margo on the Argo. My fantastic uncle got to me, I am Malayla, by Malayla herself, you saw say, oh gosh, I'm sorry, with Christina Lamb, probably is a translator of sorts, and if you don't know, which I don't know how, but this is about the young woman who was shot by the Taliban because she went to school, she stood up for her education, she was shot in the head on her way home from school on a bus, she was shot because she went to school, because she wanted to learn and she was shot and they thought she was going to die, but she miraculously, miraculously lived through it, which is just fantastic. And I opened this and I opened it and I saw like this part and I was like, I don't really, I don't have, I don't know many books by that publisher. And then I ripped it open and I saw this and I'm like, oh man, oh man, I'm ready for this. I am beyond excited and I'm going to have a review up the second I finish it. I planned to read this after I finish Splintered and un, um, un, Unhinged. I I'm just hitting my camera. I'm planning to read this as soon as I can because I'm so ready to experience what this young woman went through and how I can help, how her voice can help be heard. And she is the youngest nominee ever for a Nobel Peace Prize and I am so excited to get to this because I love strong females who are able to stand up for other people. So thank you, Malala. Cannot wait to read it, guys. Then my grandma, we were at a bookstore, Barnes & Noble, one day, and she was like, Margaret, I don't know what book to get you because you buy a lot of books. So I'm like, get me this. And she got it for me. My grandma's good. It's, it's Alice in Wonderland and all the other classic works by Lewis Carroll. And of course, it's like huge. But look how pretty it is. Look at it. Look at, oh, and look how pretty it is underneath. Look at that. Can't look. 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 I'm so excited because this has Alice in Wonderland, or Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and through the looking glass, which I need to get to. And then his, a whole bunch of like his other poems and other short stories. We've been over it in this video and several others. My love for Alice in Wonderland. I can't even fathom it. I literally can't. Like, I can't, guys. I, I love Alice in Wonderland so much. Guys, I love it. Um, so I'm pr I'm probably gonna be reading Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass relatively soon, just so that I can. Okay, that was kind of awkward sentence. Um, so then I went to the bookstore today. <laughs> After I went yesterday, and I just uh, I need to stop. Someone help me, please. And I found Love and Other Perishable Items by. Laura Buzo, Buzo, yep, I guess, which has a really nice cover, like, here, listen, doesn't that feel good, it, it like, doesn't that feel like it would sound like it would feel good, because it really does, and it's nice and thin, I'm gonna try, um, mini rant for a second, I know I get off topic really easily, but after I finish, I'm gonna finish Splintered and Unhinged over the next few days, we have 
Is there 31 days in December? Oh, this is about to be embarrassing. Let's just say there are 31. Counting today, I had four days to reach my goal and I only have to read three more books. So if I finish Splintered and Unhinged, then I could read this one because it's relatively small, just to be able to meet my goal. And I am so excited about this because I believe that this is Australian of sorts and it just seems really awesome. It seems like a really cute love story and I'm excited to get this. So then while I'm perusing the beautiful shelves at Barnes & Noble, my mom comes up to me, she's like, Margaret, look, guys, guys, guys. I don't even know what it's called. Puzzles in Wonderland, a frab just puzzle challenge inspired by Alice's Adventures, and I think it's by R.W. Galland. Okay, um, it was on Bargain for $9.98, and it had a big red sticker on it that indicated 50% off. So this thing was $5, and it's just a book full of like, Full of like awesome puzzles and stuff. I kind of feel like I'm two years old, but these are actually really hard. I haven't even tried yet. I'm just like looking at them. They have beautiful illustrations and like puzzles, like really hard things that I am so ready to get to because Alice in Wonderland. We've been through this, haven't we? And then the last book I had to show you, which I need some serious feedback on. If you have to comment on anything, comment on this. I bought I bought Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I see them there every time and I'm like, I don't really like paranormal. I'm not a big vampire fan, but I finally bought it because I know that everybody loves them so much and I know the movies suck and I'm not going to see it, but I also really want to read Bloodlines and I know I would rather read this first. Please, please, please tell me down below if you liked this, if you've read it, if you've not, just, just basically anything about this would help because I'm actually super excited to get to this. I'm gonna, I might make a January TBR video in a minute. That's a really good idea. I think I'm probably gonna do that. But I really want to, want to read this because they're all so pretty. I know it's so stupid. Well, actually, they're not all that pretty, but the spines are really nice. Um, and I'm just excited to see what all the hype is about, if the hype is deserving. So if you guys could just let me know that. So that was my giant 12 book Christmas haul and in hopes that I won't come back on January 1st saying, hey guys, I bought 20 more books in the four days left in December because that sounds a bit like me. Guys, help me. <laughs> I can't stop. The second I get money, I'm like, <laughs> books. So that was all of this. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.